Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run into and they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run into and they are safe father we thank you lord i give you praise for another beautiful beautiful marvelous day indeed it is the day that you have made and i do rejoice and i'm glad in it and i thank you for every ear that will hear this word and i thank you for every single one that will take the time out lord to hear this word father bless their hearing and bless their spirit in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. So without much ado, shall we just go straight to our to our memory verse? Hallelujah. I don't have to explain this song anymore, do I? I don't. Let's go straight to our memory verse for every day, which is we take, of course, from the book of Jeremiah. Glory to God. I like opening it, even though I can read it off by heart, but I like opening it so that we can. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, which says, <laughs> it says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Another version says, thoughts of welfare, plans for welfare and not for evil. To give you a future and a hope. And our second memory verse is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Which says that for God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of power, of love and of a sound mind. And I keep saying you've got to hold on to these two verses. They are anchor verses. So I tell you at least to the, to the end of this year. 31st of December 2020. You're going to be hearing this from me every day why because as a person though god uses me to bring it to you they are anchor verses for me because they keep me alive every day they keep me going because i remember that god plans for me they are for good welfare they are of peace and you know what is contained in peace and then i'm not afraid of anything because god has not given me the spirit of fear anyway Let's go straight and continue from our topic of yesterday. Topic, our verse. We don't have. The topic is we have is do not fear. Yeah, our verse we started reading yesterday from the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. And we read that the name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run in and they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run in and they are safe. And yesterday we talked about what it means to be in safety, what it means to be safe, and from what. Because if there's no danger, you won't be talking of safety. It is because there's a danger, there's, a, there, there, there's, a, there's something dangerous that you have to keep away from. There's something you have to be protected from. Then you talk about being safe or being in safety. And we looked at that. But now, like I said yesterday, we'll be looking at the various elements that are raised here. And at the end of this, I will ask the question I'm asking, who is your Lord? He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and are safe. Now we have looked at what it means to be safe. So the last part says, the righteous run in to it. Into what? Into the strong tower. And what is the strong tower? The name of the Lord. And they are safe. Now who is the righteous? Who is the righteous? You know some of the verses I read to us yesterday. One said, the upright man. The upright man running into the strong tower is safe. The other, the other version says the righteous man. The, 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 the amplified version says that. Let me, let me read it to us. The amplified version. Uh, Proverbs chapter 18. Proverbs 18, 18, 10. I'm just opening it from the amplified version of the Bible. Proverbs 18, 10 says that. The consistent. Consistently righteous, not the part-time righteous person. The consistently, that means a K 
keeping an aid, righteous man. Now, who is the righteous man? He said, the man that is upright and in right standing with God. Who is the righteous man? Who is the upright man? Is that man that before God has no faults. And how can you be a man and have no fault before God? Because God in his mercy will look at you through the blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus cleanses us from every unrighteousness. So the righteous man is the one that is under the covering of the blood of Jesus. The righteous man is the one that has accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Because we were unrighteous, we were unholy, we could not stand before God. But the Bible says that God, Jesus came. He made him who knew no sin to become sin for us. And we are going to read that, that particular scripture right now from the book of, um, of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Yes, we're going to read it. And as we read on, we're going to read. Oh, <laughs> this is the Amplified. Let's read it from... Uh, the, 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 the New King James Version. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Second Corinthians chapter 5. And we're reading from, uh, where are we? Second Corinthians chapter 5. From verse, from ver verse 21. This is lovely. It said, for he had made him who knew no sin to be seen for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Now, who has made who? So let's go back a bit. Let's go to verse 20, maybe to explain to us. He said, now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. For he, God, had made him Christ who knew no sin to be seen for us, for you and for me, that you and I might become the righteousness of God in him, in Christ Jesus, that we might have a right standing with God. And remember when we read in the book of John chapter 1, he told us that as many as receive him, now your child has a right standing with, with you, don't you? Don't, don't they? Your child is your child. Your child can come into your presence, can make you any request to you at any time. Now, in, the, in, in that verse that we read in the book of John chapter 1, it says, For as many as received him Christ Jesus, to this many he gave the right to become the sons of God, to become the children of God. Now, when you become a child, you have a right to make a demand. When you become a child, you have access to your father. You have access to to your mother, unless your parents are evil, you have access all the time to four seven. To four seven, you have access. You have access. So also, when we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, because that is what the Bible says in the book of John, chapter one. If you want, and we can quickly go there and read it again. John chapter one, verse twelve. Which says, uh, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, to those who believed in his name. If you believe in the name of the Lord Jesus, and that belief, we have explained it in another episode, that it means believing that all that Jesus did on the cross was actually for you and that you confess Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life. He said from that moment you are given the right to become a child of God. You become a child of God. And when you are a child, you now have a right standing with your father. You have a right standing why? by reason of the sonship and the fatherhood towards you. The, you are a child of God and he is your father. So that brings you into a right, you know, right standing. But, you know, in the book, in the, in the, in the uh, Amplified, I say consistently righteous. That means you have to consistently stay in the place where your father has put you, you have to stay and remain a child of God, not part-time child of God, but always a child of God. He said, we have been adopted into his family. You like to read that place? Let's go on. Let's find it. 
you know because God by adoption has brought us into his family we have become by adoption let's read it we find it in the book of let's first of all go to uh, Galatians chapter 4 verse 5 it says to redeem those who were under law that we might receive the adoption as sons. And you know when you are adopted, when you adopt a child, that child becomes yours as though that child was given birth to by you. There is no difference between your biological child and your adopted child. Now let's read again from the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. It's, we can read from the beginning from verse 3. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame in him in love having predestined us to adoption as sons by jesus christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will he said having predestined us what does he mean that is what he says in the book of john chapter 3 verse 16 for as many say for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to the world that whosoever anyone in the world believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that is pre-adoption that is predestination but but you have to walk into that predestination. You have to choose to accept that predestination because it says anyone that does this, it's like when you have to win a, 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 a game. If you don't play the game, you can't win it. If you don't a, 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 enter into the room, you can't have access to the, the things in the room. Yes, the room is there for everybody. The house is there for everybody. But until you go into the house, you cannot have it. It is only those that are inside that go, that take the step to enter the house, that can assess the things that are in the house. And that is what the Bible says here, that God predestined us to be sons to him, as many as receive him. And it is this many that receive him that is the righteous, that is the one that has an upright standing with God that has a a, 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 a a right standing with God because you become a child of God. Do you understand it? You become a child of God. And when you become a child of God, you are in a right standing with your father. When you make a mistake, you can tell your father you are sorry. You have to tell your father you are sorry. But that does not remove the father to remain the son of your father, the child of your father. The fact that you fell into a mud and then you got up and you clean yourself or and you got up and you say, Father, I'm sorry, does not change the fact that you are the child of God. Remember the prodigal son. Do you remember the, the story of the prodigal son? He was feeding with the pigs. He had messed up his inheritance. But when he came to his senses and he came to his father, then the father said, you are no longer my son. He said, no. He welcomed him with his eyes open and said, my lost son. He did not change the state with the father. So what am I trying to say? That the righteous, you know, now we go back to our verse. In the book of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. So the, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, so we are talking about who is the righteous. So we say that the righteous is that man that has a right standing with God. That have access to God. And as his son, as his daughter, who is that person? The one that has accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. Why? Because he said as many as received him to them. He gave the right to become the sons of God. And we read from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. That we become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Which means that we are made righteous in Christ Jesus. And when we, so that means that for you to be righteous, for you to be called the righteous, you have to be in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And I think we'll be stopping there for today. So my question for today, before I go, is this, are you the righteous? Is Jesus in your life? Are you in Jesus? Have you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior? Because, that verse 18, powerful as it is, it said it is the righteous that runs in and are safe. It didn't say the wicked. It didn't say the ungodly. It didn't say the unrighteous. It didn't say the ungodly. You that say you do not believe. That tower is not for you. 
it is for the righteous and the righteous we have just learned is as many as receive them receive him to the he gave the power to become the sons of God are you a son of God would you like to become a son of God shall we pray and if you like to become a son of God just bow your head and pray and ask Jesus to come into your life say Jesus come into my life be my Lord and my Savior I give you my life and I accept you Lord Jesus and from that moment as you do it sincerely with your heart the Bible says you become a son of God father in the name of Jesus I just want to thank you once again for your word Whew, what a beautiful word it is Lord living to you with you living for you thank you father for your word of God I just want to bless your name oh God thank you because Lord we have been made righteous by the blood of Jesus thank you Lord because Lord you have adopted us by Jesus unto yourself thank you Lord because we have access unto you Lord God for as many as receive it to them he gave the right to become the sons of God thank you Lord that being the son of God Lord we have a right standing with you lord father i just want to say thank you and for this i commit every man every woman every soul that watches and watch this video into your hand that as many as have not yet received jesus that they will receive jesus as their lord and savior that they too might come into that life standing and as many that have jesus but they are not so sure father i pray holy spirit that you will visit them that lord you will reassure them of their salvation oh god in the mighty name of jesus and i pray lord god for your saints that father they will keep because the, the, the amplified version tells us that it is the consistent the righteous man not the pattern not the one that goes off and on but the one that is consistent so i pray for everyone that their faith in you will be consistent in the name of jesus christ that lord they will stand consistently as a righteous man before you in the mighty name of jesus and lord god i ask for your blessing today over their lives oh god in the name of jesus i pray for somebody that is particularly in need oh god there's a particular need or there's something you really you need it to Resolve today. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will give you the answer. God will supply that needs to you in the mighty name of Jesus because you are a child of God. I command a release of that desire and release of that of your expectation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. To you be the glory in Jesus' name. And with that, I say thank you so much. God bless you. And remember, do not fear, do not be afraid. If you are the righteous, you are in a safe place. You are protected. He said the righteous run into it and they are protected. So you can run into the strong tower and you will be protected. God bless you. Remember that God loves you so much unconditionally. He loves you recklessly and he loves you relentlessly. I will continue from where we stop today tomorrow. Keep on smiling and keep on living God. God bless you and I love you.